My coverage of CES 2020 is brought to you by MSI, Thermaltake, Lian Lee, and Cooler Master. Guys, I'm at Lian Lee now. They are a sponsor for my CES 2020 coverage. So a huge thank you to them for helping me bring you guys all the content I'm bringing you this week. They have a bunch of new stuff to show off, starting with a special edition version of the O11 Dynamic. So here it is, the O11 Dynamic, and there's not a whole lot of changes going on here. It's still the same case that you may already know and love, but there's a little placard there at the back, and that's gonna tell you what number you have. They're only gonna make 2,000 of these, and they did uh, go out and survey the PCMR community to see what accent they wanted to do on it, and they decided on chrome. So there it is, you got a chromed out front panel and bottom accent, as well as the feet around the bottom. So special edition chrome O11 Dynamic. But what's this? So they took the O11 Dynamic and they made an XL version, and now they have made a mini version. And first they were like, this is an ITX case. And I was like, you know, it's kind of on the large size for ITX cases, but it's got a full water cooling setup in it. And you can fit not two, but three 280 millimeter radiators in this system on uh, the top and the rear panel side there and then down at the bottom. Right now they've got a Crosshair 8 impact in there so that they're technically using this as a mini DTX setup but uh, this case is actually very flexible because over here on the right they have a full-size ATX setup in there so that's going to give you the vertical space on the motherboard for more expansion stuff. It's going to uh, negate the bottom radiator support, but you can, can still put a couple fans in there. And thanks to all the mesh that they have going on on the rear side panel, as well as all of the ventilation at the top, this case should still have pretty good airflow, especially if you're outfitting it with intake fans for the side, like they have set up right here, and intake fans for the bottom. I.O. for this case is down at the bottom. There's a couple USB 3.0 and there's a 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port. Actual power buttons and whatnot are up there on the top. It's gonna come with a little LED panel that will by default show your system temperature. And then it's got a couple logos for Der Bauer's logo and the Lian Lee lo logo that'll pop up there. Uh, you can cycle through those. And the way they're making this chassis so flexible is via the rear panel. They have a rear panel mini ITX configuration, then they have a rear, rear panel full-size ATX configuration. Full-size ATX configuration just shifts the entire motherboard up to provide enough room for the entire full-size ATX board. And they're planning to ship this with both panels, so you can choose whether you want to do an ITX or a full-size ATX build in this system. This case is expected to be out in May, and the price is going to be between $90 and $100. Oh, and in case you're looking at the mini ITX version over here and the full ATX version over there, this in the middle is a micro ATX setup, which you can do with the back plate for the ITX system. The micro ATX finishings are still being worked on, but once the system is ready to be sold in May, it should support all three configurations. Here's the Lian Li Uni fan. These are 120 millimeter fans that have a really cool option, basically to connect them up to each other individually. So they just snap together, that connects the connection points for both the power for the fan as well as the RGB lighting. Uh, you got this end piece here that just pops out by itself, so you can add that to either side. So if you're doing a 240 millimeter or 360 millimeter radiator setup or just uh, several fans in a case uh, for exhaust or an intake or something like that, and you don't want to worry about wiring up a bunch of different cables, they just, they just got this coming off the end, one for the power, one for the LEDs. Really simple to do. They showed this off at Computex last year, but it is now just about ready to launch. We're expecting it in April, and the three pack is gonna be between 70 and $80. You guys remember the streamer, or streamer, depending on how you wanna pronounce it, depending on uh, whether or not you're particular about the spelling, that's fine. It's a very unique way to add even more RGB to your system, even more lighting, and Lian Lee has worked on improving it and further developing it. Uh, they've added this controller on here, which is actually pretty flexible. You can hold the button down and it will switch to motherboard control, or you can cycle through a really insane number of preset effects. And since they're individually addressable LEDs down the whole strip, you can get a really cool wave effect. You can get an RGB rainbow effect. You can go with a single color. Uh, incredibly flexible here. So if you really want to add that extra bit of bling to your system, uh, consider maybe getting, getting a strimmer. They're also going with a silicone material here, which makes it a little bit more durable and more flexible. They've worked on the finishings, like down at the edge and the terminal points, uh, just to make that a little bit cleaner. It's kind of got a bit of rubber to box off the end caps. And if you want to get the 24 pin for your main motherboard connector, that will come with the controller. That's going to sell for 60 bucks. The add-on for the PCI Express graphics connector doesn't come with the controller, but that's an additional $40. Here's a couple all-in-one liquid coolers for your CPU, the Galahad. It's available in 360 millimeter and 240 millimeter varieties. Uh, fans on these, they're keeping simple. They're just uh, 
fans, high quality Lian Lee fans of course, but no RGB on there. There is some RGB accent on the CPU block pump. There's also a little magnetic plate that you can remove if you don't like the Lian Lee logo. And then that entire piece can also be rotated so you don't have to worry about which orientation you're installing it and where your tubes happen to go. I know there's lots of AIO options out on the market, but these are pretty well priced as well. It's gonna be $110 for the 240. It's gonna be $130 for the 360. The Lian Lee Land Cool 2 has been one of the most popular cases for Lian Lee. They, they've been selling a lot of them and that's because it's got a good price, $90, and it's got good performance, good airflow. But they decided, hey, why not make it even more better airflow by doing a mesh version? So they put a mesh panel on the front right here. Uh, so you're not going to get the RGB accents that you had with the original version, but you're going to get a lot more airflow, which is a functional upgrade, which I approve of. They have also added some mesh for airflow along the bottom radiator fold down panel right there. So that is also, again, a functional upgrade. And since the top of the case used to have an RGB controller up here, that's not as necessary now. In the finished version, they're going to switch that over so it works for fan control. And again, one of the really nice things about the Landcool is it's still got that USB 3.2 Gen 2 port up at the top, which uh, for a case that's sub $100, you don't always get. So if you're interested in the Landcool 2 mesh, it's going to be available in April at the same retail price, $90. If you want to save $10 on the <laughs> Landcool 2 right here uh, for $10 bucks cheaper, $80. Uh, we've got what is currently being called the Landcool 315, although that name might change. This is going to ship with two front panels. Uh, it's currently got a mesh one going on right here, but there's also a tempered glass panel. It will ship with both, so install whichever one, depending on whether you want more airflow or whether you want to see a better look at your RGB fans. It's still got that uh, intake on the rear side over there, so there's still going to be airflow even if you do go with the tempered glass. Lots of airflow at the top. And uh, check this out at the back. It's got a removable motherboard tray. This used to be all the rage with cases, but you don't see it quite as much anymore. But you can slide out that entire panel and that's gonna give you access to install your motherboard, a graphics card even, almost your whole system setup, and then you can slide it in and connect everything up where you might need to. Then the other thing that's included that isn't always included with the removable motherboard tray is the uh, AIO or your radiator mount is also part of that. So you can really get most of your system setup done sort of in an outside of the box configuration and then it makes it a lot easier to get everything installed in the case. So that is the Landcool 315. Again, it's only gonna be $80. We're expecting it in May. And as far as fans, it's gonna ship with a single fan in the front. And finally, here's the big daddy of the show. This is the Odyssey X and this is also gonna be available in May. So obviously this is a premium case with the $400 price tag, but uh, it's made of really thick, high quality aluminum panels with bends in them. That's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. And the weird thing is this and this are the same case. Yes, you wouldn't think it to look at them, but this is the same case. Basically this is gonna come flat packed with about 30 individual pieces with multiple configurations that you can put it in. So if you look at the top pieces here, those are the front pieces over here. If you look at these tempered glass side panels that are somehow bent in the middle, that's, I mean, there's a, there's a hinge right there, but it's got a nice bend in the middle. Here they are flat together with the seam along the middle and that is the same panel there. There are a few pieces that won't be used in every configuration, like uh, this little bow out piece that allows you to get that kind of wider feel with a little bit more airflow in there and a really distinct cool look you wouldn't necessarily use in this configuration but you can see for example the same io which uh, has two usb 3.0 and a 3.2 gen 2 yay thank you lian lee but over here they just position that right on the front it's going to use the same feet and the same internal chassis and then there's just a wide variety of configurations you can do you can have the motherboard oriented vertically like this you can rotate the motherboard 90 degrees and do a chimney orientation so that you have the exhaust going out the top of the case. And you can see that just by removing that top panel. Even something as simple as flipping these front pieces, as you can see here, the intake is out on either outer edge, whereas over here, the intake's right there in the middle. And then again, two different distinct looks for essentially the same case. So as you can see guys, a wide variety of products available from Lee and Lee, and a lot of them are gonna be coming very soon. So keep your eye out and uh, hopefully one of these things might strike your fancy. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think. And of course, a huge thank you to Lian Lee for sponsoring my CES 2020 coverage, as well as my additional sponsors, Cooler Master, Thermal Take, and MSI. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, guys. I've got lots more content coming at you real soon. We'll see you in the next one.